MTN Zakele announced over the weekend that its shares will only resume trading next month. This after huge demand and technical problems halted transactions. The shares were already supposed to be trading again, but the date has been pushed back multiple times. Joining us now on the line to provide the latest is Chairman Tulani Kabashe. Tulani, uh, please provide us with an explanation as to what's causing the delay yet again. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Google. Um, essentially, we, we've had our service providers working on fixing what needed to be fixed, and with a, an intensive amount of testing coming on the back of that. Now, this has been ongoing, and we are now at a point where, in our view, the system is robust. Everything has been fixed. We're awaiting the, the finalization of the report by the auditors who've audited the system. And thereafter, we'll be conferring uh, with the regulators um, who, as you might expect, um, have wanted to know what had gone wrong and what we've done about it. So we've already had some discussions and we'll be having more discussions with the regulator. Well, what have you said to the regulator, Tulani? No, we indicated that, you know, the, the problems we really had were around uh, capacity in, the, in, in terms of concurrent users being more than the system could cater for. So we've been working on fixing that. In fact, just to mention one of the changes, we have now ensured that we can take four times the number of uh, concurrent users we had in our first round of trading. Uh, we've also looked at loading in terms of the number of transactions that they would do and we've then looked at the stability of the system while while those transactions are happening you know I'll uh, sorry yeah so so you know the service providers we're working with have been hard at work getting this right and you know we rely on the auditing that's been done and we've been taken through it and, and the system is far more robust now, so it can take the volumes that uh, we, we saw at the beginning. What we've also done, if I may add, is to double the number of call center agents. Mm. So we now have 80 agents all trained up uh, and, and ready. Tulani, what's confusing me here is that part of your consortium is STT. And we know STT put together the Johannesburg Stock Exchange's software. So they've got plenty of understanding of a trading system yet in engaging with them they said they were not commissioned to do the trading system for you it seems rather strange because they've handled things many many times the size of what MTN Zakele is uh, needing yeah. and yet they weren't engaged to do that I I'm confused Alec um, I think we've dealt with this point before we engaged a consortium of which STT is a part we did not suggest what each should be doing they gave us a proposal as a consortium. Aha, uh -huh. I and, got it. And, you know, it is that consortium that we, we look to. I understand now, yes. Uh, yes, yes. So I must say that everybody has cooperated. You know, you have the back end and the front end. And uh, it's, it's really been around making sure that the integration holds out under severe pressure. And I think that's where we are. The reason we didn't open uh, as we had thought uh, today is that the regulators are looking at our reports and we're holding discussions with them and you know given the time of year it's quite difficult to get everything done expeditiously or or quickly shall I say so you know we are in engagement with them and we, we just felt that it, it's, it's, it's probably more likely that by January all of these processes will have finished very briefly, when in January? Mid, late, I can, early? I, I cannot tell you, as I say, we need to sit down with the regulator and, you know, if I put a date, it may not suit their, their schedule or their resources at this time of the year. Mm. But Thank as you so soon much as we know, we will communicate. Thanks that so really much, Tulani. Thank you. Well, that was MTN's Akele Chairman, Tulani Tabashi, there.